Hello, today I'm going to show you how to access LexisNexis Uni. We're going to start at the Orange Coast College website at orangecoastcollege.edu. We're going to scroll down to where it says Top Searches and click Library. Then we're going to scroll down here on this page and we're going to click Databases A to Z. This is where you can find every individual database that the library owns um, and they'll be in alphabetical order. So, since um, LexisNexis starts with an L, we can scroll down to the L and um, we'll find it right here under LexisNexis Uni. We can click on that and it's going to take us to LexisNexis. Now at this point you will need to log in if you are off campus. If you're on campus it will work. What we're going to do here is enter in the search box our search terms. Now this database does let you use some natural language searching, uh, but uh, you may have better luck with uh, traditional library database searching as well. That's what I'm going to show you right now. Um, and one of the nice things is, is that if you have a search from another library database, you can usually just use that to start with. Um, the good thing too about Lexis is that it searches the full text of all the articles. The thing to know about that though is that that means you're going to get a lot of results. So what you want to do is make sure that you narrow down your topic at the beginning um, or you're going to get just too much to wade through. I'm actually going to use a search that I used in a different library database um, and that search is going to be business and social media. Okay, in this case, I'm also going to go where it says choose date range, and I'm going to pick a year. Um, for this particular topic, I want to make sure that the information is very current, So, um, and this will also lower the amount of results that we get. So this is a good idea in this case to start with. Then I'm going to click search, and then I'll get my search results. So here you can see there's different um, search results here. Um, it shows you where the words occur in the article um, and then you can also click on the article and you'll get the whole whole full text of that article. Some of these articles are very short. It always tells you the length up here at the top. Um, and then the other important thing to know is that unlike a lot of library databases, this one is not going to give you a sample citation. So you'll need to build that citation from the information here at the top. One thing that you should know is that the byline indicates the author's name. So in this case, the author's name is not spelled out, but it has her email address. So you can build her name off of that um, for your citation. You can print and email and download and save to Google Drive as well. Um, this database has a, uh, a separate section. If you click on Nexus Uni up here at the top, it will take you back to the home page. And then what I'm going to do here is scroll down and where it says discover topics business, I'm going to click business. And here there, you're going to have some different options um, that are not available from the front page. And we're actually going to go to this company dossier. And this is where you can find information about a specific company. So let's say um, I wanted to look at Facebook. I can type in Facebook and click search. It's going to give me um, all the different uh, companies that they have on record that have that word in it. Um, we want the parent company, the important one, right here, Facebook Inc. And from here, all of these little links on the side are going to give you different types of information that you can get for Facebook. So you can get their competitors, you can get their hierarchy, you can get financials, company reports, um, industry knowledge, activities, investment research, news. If you click current news it will show you everything that has most recently occurred with Facebook. Um, and it shows you it's very very current. Um, this is today's date right here, January 5th. So you can see that it's pretty current. And then it works exactly the same. You just click on the title and you can read the article. Okay. So that is LexisNexis in a nutshell. Um, one thing to note is that uh, you do need to have your pop-ups unblocked for this site um, if you want to go to this company dossier. That is LexisNexis in a nutshell. Um, if you need any assistance, please contact your librarian.